Hello. This week, a review of our latest virtual event, and also I talk about the fascinating fact that every day 40,000 new songs are uploaded to music streaming services. My name is Hamish Robinson, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of the Watch Collectors Club, and this is my weekly vlog about my journey into the crazy world of entrepreneurship. We held another virtual showcase event this week, and it went very well. It's a simple format where people bring watches that they would like to talk about, and this week we featured watches you would take on holiday with you. It lasted for an hour, most of them last between 45 minutes and an hour, and the time flies by so quickly. The variety of watches is fascinating, and people have really interesting stories to share. We look forward to doing many more, and if this sounds like something you might like to join, please look out for the next one, which will be in early July. I'm also pleased to report that our new website is very nearly finished. I've been talking about it for a while, but it really is nearly here. I've been finishing up a new video for the homepage, and it's been fascinating making the drafts. I'm an amateur video maker, as this series of vlogs shows. But for the homepage video, which introduces the club, I've been very sure to get lots of feedback. This is another example of how useful feedback is. People have given very enthusiastic feedback and also been very clear about what they didn't like. I haven't followed everybody's advice. Ultimately, it's my video and our style. I hope people like it, but it's another reminder that whatever project you're working on, getting early and, re and repeated feedback is the best thing you can do during almost any endeavor. The next thing I wanted to talk about today is the fact that 40,000 new songs are uploaded to streaming services every day. To put that into perspective, your average record store on an average high street contains at any one time 40,000 records. This is an example of what happens when the cost of a technology to create something collapses. Now that people can create songs using their computer almost anywhere, we have a huge number of new songs being uploaded. To me, this is fantastically positive. It shows that an ever increasing number in an of people in an ever more diverse set of scenarios and an ever increasing number of genres can create and produce music. This phenomenon is not just for music, we've also seen similar in new fiction, for example, and of course many other creative industries. The big positive is that a more of a diverse set of creators creates more interesting work and a positive flywheel ensues. Not everybody will become very successful and famous. The number of hits in any given industry will probably remain the same. One way of thinking about it is it's just the lower cost of technology increases competition in any given arena. This is true, but when you focus on the increase in diversity, that leads to something else. It leads to an increase in accessibility, and this is where I really care. I've started this company to make the watch world more accessible, and sometimes I'm slightly uh, overwhelmed by how much stuff there is already out there about the watch world, how many really good blogs, YouTube videos, magazines, etc. already exist. I don't get put off, however, because what is most important is finding one's own angle, and that's what we're trying to do with the Watch Collectors Club. And when you see the success of things like the number of songs created, it shows that a hugely diverse number of people in a diverse number of places are going to create those songs, and hopefully appeal to an even wider audience. The accessibility of genres is going up. The same is true of content I can create. As long as I stick to my focus, which is on helping people learn more about the watch world, I can create more diverse content and make it more accessible. That's ultimately the goal. Seeing these explosions in other creative art forms encourages me that a lot more content can be created about the watch world, and if it is, the watch world become more accessible. I hope to play a small part in that with the Watch Collectors Club. If you're interested in finding out more about us, please go to www.thewatchcollectors.club or follow us on Instagram. Thank you.